All right, this is part five of the playlist builder or building playlists or running your radio DJ using a playlist. It is what I use, and that is what I like to call a live playlist. Basically, you're using the rotations. So let's look at that. This is the most, to me, the, the best way to do it. All right, so we're going to go to track rotations. And you see here, I have a rotation, okay? The first thing it loads up is a station drop, then a gospel song, a gospel song, a bumper, something from the 2000s folder, a paid commercial, paid commercial, something from the 2000s folders. Then it starts all over again. This is a track rotation. Some people, in some programs, it may be called a clock wheel because I can sit here and... and lay this out for 60 minutes. Um, I don't like to do it that way, but you can do it that way. And when this loads up, you know, you can load it up up here. So when this loads up, it's going to play continuously what, in you know, what you have here and it's going to keep rotating. So I'm going to do I like to say my rotations as um, whatever space rotation. And I like to do it that way because when I look over here at the top where the meter's at, it just helps me quickly remember that the top one is for rotations and the bottom one is for sweepers. So you can have a rotation on my station. Um, one of my stations is gospel, but I have the gospel broken up into various types of gospel. And I have them in there as rotations because it's easier, easier to let radio DJ create the playlist on the fly. To me, that's the easiest way to do it. Now I don't do the commercials and the bumpers and the station drops in my rotations. The only thing I have in my rotations is music because I'm going to add the commercials and the bumpers and I'm going to use events to do that. It's entirely up to you. It's your station. You can program it however you want. So generally, my rotations, I try to keep them three lines, no more than three lines. Even if the lines are the same, um, I keep them three lines. The only difference might be I might have the sweeper start on, on at least one of these lines, meaning it's going to play a sweeper over the intro of the song. You know, I don't, I don't care if someone's talking on the song. Some people do. I don't. Um, I will have a sweeper. So I do mine like this. And let's say, well, that's already the gospel rotation. No, that's the default. So I'm going to save this as. I'm going to overwrite the one that says gospel. Because as you can see, I'm only pulling gospel. Okay. I'm only pulling the gospel. And I can schedule when I want this rotation to play. To me, this is so much more easier. It's creating, it's, you know, it's just creating it on the fly. I don't know what's going to play, when it's going to play, but it's doing it on the fly. The other thing about doing it with rotations is you can do custom repeat rules. These repeat rules down here at the bottom override the global rules okay so you can be very creative with that the other thing you can do with this in rotations is you you know someone wanted to do a rotation that had nothing but female singers okay you can do that you may have a station that has multiple languages you can do that okay so rotations give you another level of power and, and complexity complexity when you're building these. So this is the other way that you can do playlists, but you're not 
You don't have to sit here and build the playlist every week. Okay? This will do it on the fly. So I have I have the drive time rotation. I have um morning praise rotation, then I have all hits, lunch hour rotation, then I have urban gospel rotation, then of course drive time. Then I got what is known as the super mix. The super mix is where I'm pulling from all the different categories to make a, so that, you know, I'm pulling from everything. Um, and then what else I have? I have a quartet, gospel quartet rotation. I have an independent artist only quartet, uh, rotation. And so you can do rotations like this. And I choose three because that this gives me roughly 12 to 15 minutes of music in the queue. So if anything um, loads to the bottom of the queue, I know it's going gonna, it's gonna to play within 12 to 15 minutes. So like if I'm using the online request, those are going to go to the bottom of the queue. Now, if I got a whole hour's worth of stuff in the queue, that request is it's going to be an hour out, and that's fine too. Um, but I... Now, I do about 15 to 12 minutes song there. So these songs are only going to do the gospel rotation. Now, if I had um, a rock rotation, you know, you can make a rock rotation and you can schedule when these rotations play. And that's how you make your station play a certain style of music during certain hours of the day without having to create a playlist um, without using outside programs to to make the uh, playlist, you know, I'm like, as powerful as Radio DJ is, you want to use an outside program to create your playlist. Hey, you know, we all do what we want to do, do it the best way we want to do it, but I let Radio DJ do what it does. And uh, people love the station. I'm sure they love your station as well. All right, so I hope this has helped now. In the next video, we're going to be looking at voice tracking. I don't know if it's the next video, but we're going to be doing a video on voice tracking, and that's going to close out the playlist series of videos. All right. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not subscribed, and I'll see you guys in the next video.